Hi, welcome to Power Platform Diaries. Today we will see how to authenticate D365 using MSL libraries. As we all were using ADL libraries for authenticating D365 or Microsoft Identity Platform from external applications. But now it is deprecated. And by June 30, 2022, it will be officially unsupported also. So we all should migrate our existing applications to MSL. And when we develop new applications, we should be using MSL libraries. And I have added the Microsoft official FAQ documentation for this migration. It is very useful. Do check it out. Now, let's create a new Azure function application. Please note the code will be same. You can use the same code for other applications, not only Azure function. But since I have a series of uh, blocks uh, for Azure function, I'm using Azure function now. Let's create a new Azure function. So I'm selected function app. Okay, we'll give name auth MSL. L. Then yep, create. So I'll select HTTP trigger and it is getting created. To save time, let's copy and paste the code. So I pasted my existing code. You can see there are some errors. Uh, that is because I have in direct the MSI libraries. Microsoft.identity.client. This is in the MSI library. Let's add the MSI library. To add the MSI dependency, go to dependencies. So you add managed nugget package from here we'll add our msl library so here browse microsoft.identity.client install it all errors gone once the msl library has been added let's see the code now so you can see over here as i mentioned before this is the reference you'll be using and come this is my function Azure function so what this Azure function will be doing is that it will accept an email in the request body and search for contacts with this particular email address and return the contact record so let's say these are getting post you can change based on your requirement uh, this is for logging to the Azure console then yeah here I am reading the request body and getting the email address passed so this is a standard part you can reuse it and this part is for the msl authentication you can see client id secret so client id and secret can be obtained when you create or register an application the azure active directory if you check my previous blog you can see a detailed article on creating azure application in the uh, azure active directory so you can refer to that so you get the client id secret scope is nothing your organization url dot default then web api x your organization's web api endpoint then authority authority part you see uh, login.microsoftonline.com till here it is static then forward slash you give your tenant id tenant id then yes this is the class we'll be using for authentication in the msl library confidential client application builder so here you see i'm using from here i'm creating a variable or object from client, client ID, client secret, and authority. Dot build. So this method will get uh, create an object of client application builder class. Then instead the try block, this is here actually I'm authenticating into D365 using the credentials. Let's see, client app dot acquire token for client. This is the method. I'll pass scope as parameter and execute async. So you, I'll get the authentication inside the auth result object. Now, this part I hope you all are familiar. This is our standard web API execution. Only thing you, you need to note is that this is a place where I am reading the authenticated token from the authorized class. So here I am obtaining the bearer token, and this is a standard web API query for retrieving contact record with the past email address. And I'm catching some exceptions. If it's bad request, I'm getting a bad request. I'm logging the error uh, to the logging the error to the Azure console then i'm just running the response if it is successful so that's it i hope this is very clear this is uh, a pretty straightforward approach and i think you need less lines of code for msl authentication and please note uh, this code doesn't follow all the best practices in terms of uh, reading the json or passing the json object or handling exceptions you need to do, do not use assets in your production code so now let's run our Azure function C code in real action. So I'm going to run. It's building the project. 
So I just created it. So I got the endpoint for my Azure function. Let's flip to Postman and pasting it. Sent. It's taking some time because first time it must take a little more time to, for the authentication, but next time it will be much faster. You'll see. So we got the result. I have one contact with the past email address. This is the email address I passed. So I have one record. Uh, with the email address. So let's run one more time. Let's see how much time it took. This time it took almost seven seconds. Let's see a second time how much time it will take. Loading, running, two seconds. So that's what all for the first time it will take some time. For next time, see you 1.4 seconds. That's it. I hope uh, this was helpful. Thank you.